Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the latest release from CK, Kelvin Klein. It is their new CK1 Summer Days. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, my first impressions, how it compares to the original. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. I have hundreds and hundreds of perfume review videos. I will leave the links down below to last year's release from CK1, as well as the links to where you can buy this perfume in UK, Europe, North America, Australia, as it becomes available. And if you're a regular viewer, don't forget to see if you are subscribed and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Cool, so every year um, CK1 has a limited edition for summer. Um, always comes in the same bottle, sometimes different color, and it has a different like name, so Summer Days is this year's version. And they tend to be a twist on the original, so I'm sure we probably all remember the original CK1 as this huge seller, still very much sold today, probably the first mainstream unisex, universal, gender neutral perfume. It was super super citrusy, super fresh, um, slightly green, very like natural and very universal. So this new one, CK1 Summer Days. So I actually really like this. I think this is my favorite version of CK1 ever. Um, as you can see, it comes in this orange bottle and it has a really orangey vibe to it, which I love. The main perfume note is actually kumquat. Um, but it smells like orange to me really. And there's also a bit of mint leaf in here as well. So it's super refreshing. I think they've used a little bit of tea, like tea leaf as well, but it just is this orangey refreshing, you know, when the weather's really hot, humid, this is exactly the type of scent that I want. That's just like refreshing, cooling, fruity, citrus, cleanness. It smells very clean. I've been using a Satsuma shower gel recently and that's just gives me this really uplifting feeling in the morning but I also feel very clean afterwards so it's kind of reminded me of that if you like the body shop Satsuma um I think you definitely like this it's actually quite affordable as well you can usually get these for like 20 something 30 pounds and I love the whole like orange washed out summer look on the packaging it's a vegan formula natural ingredients naturally derived alcohol and the packaging has some recycled material in it. So they are definitely trying to be good to the world. Yeah, 89% ingredients from natural origin. So I definitely like this. It's not complex. It's not particularly like out there. It's just a simple kumquat fun, fem like fun, fun, fun summer scent. And I always think that's what you want for the summer. You want something that's just fun and fresh and makes you smile. And it definitely does that. Definitely feels unisex. That kumquat orange scent is of totally universal. So any gender, no problem with this. So definitely Soki approved. In terms of lasting power, it's an eau de toilette, so it's not super strong, but you wouldn't want something super strong for a summer days. But it's got okay lasting power, spray a good few sprays, you get quite a big bottle, you get a lot of it, and you'll be fine. And it's the kind of thing you could take to the beach with you and spray, take out in your handbag. It's just nice and it's making me smile. <laughs> so guys, that's it. Uh, let me know if you managed to try this yet. What do you think of it? Which is your favorite version of CK1? Are you a fan of the original? Let me know in the comments down below. I do read all your comments, but that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.